The descriptions applied to humans are so complex, so complicated, so diverse, so completely out of control <laughs> that there is no way to box them in. And so an entirely different approach must be taken altogether, not an approach based on the physical and mental, but an approach based on on reducing what a human is to the most basic information that is necessary about a human being. And the most basic information that is necessary about a human being is that we each have the power to know. We each have this intelligence. We have the power to know. And that power to know in Balanced View and Great Freedom we call the view that power to know. That's what this intelligence that rules the whole universe, that's what it is. It's the power to know instantiated in us. And, and everything that appears to that power to know appears to the view as a point of view. So the view and points of view, that's what we can say about what a human being is most fundamentally. And then from there, really, the jury's out. You know, we have to check out all this information to see how valid it is, to see how accurate it is, to see whether it really applies to us or not. And so th this has to happen for each one of us. And um, in order for that to take place, first we have to be introduced to that intelligence within us in a clear way. So we've all had a moment of clarity, at least one moment of clarity. So m most of us at least know what a moment of clarity is. But in Balanced View and Great Freedom, what we do is we train up clarity so that it's obvious 24-7, not just a moment of clarity now and then. Clarity 24-7, full-on clarity 24-7. The Clarity View 24-7. And so that comes about by, first of all, in the introduction to clarity. Have to be able to identify it to know what it is. Have to be able to identify it within yourself. And then short moments of clarity, uncontrived clarity, whenever you remember, again and again, short moments of clarity until it becomes more and more obvious. Now also the other four mainstays, the trainer, the training media, and the worldwide community are of tremendous support. They are of such tremendous support in this change in the way that we look at ourselves, in this change in the way that we look at the world. This is truly the radical empowerment of our, of our own identity as an individual, of our personal identity and also our relation to the collective of human culture. We are re-identifying ourselves as human beings. We're re-identifying who we take ourselves to be. And uh, we're no longer buying the trip uh, about uh, a human being being a flawed person who constantly needs to work their entire life to accumulate an enormous savings account of certain positive points of view. And so you see, we, this is what we learn. We learn that to have positive points of view, to not have any negative points of view, and well, we can just ignore the neutral points of view like tying our shoes or brushing our teeth or <laughs> whatever they are. And so we train in this. We train very actively in accumulating positive points of view and in avoiding and replacing negative points of view. But uh, then, you know, we do that only because we don't know there, there's anything else. We think that that's what we're supposed to be doing. But the moment we're introduced to clarity, we find that, uh, that that's way too much work. The positive point of view savings account is way too much work. <laughs> we find something much more positive and life sustaining, life invigorating and vitalizing in clarity. In clarity, we find potency and power. We find natural self esteem, natural assurance and confidence. And, uh, 
th there aren't any casualties in a clarity movement. There, there aren't any casualties. The casualties are the, the centuries, the millennium that have passed of people believing all these things that, that are really very far from true about what a human being is. And so you see the, uh, it, it's an adventure for human society to be in the position it's in because we are in an era of great benefit. And this era of great benefit is emerging from within society itself. We're, we're not like the human culture that has gone on before us. We're a radically different culture. We, are, we see ourselves in a much different way. When we empower ourselves with clarity, we increase the effectiveness of our mind-body speech. We increase their effectiveness in the world. We increase their effectiveness in terms of our own day-to-day -day life. And we increase their effectiveness in relation to other people living in a world. Now, as long as we live our human life, however long we have for whatever your particular lifespan is, you have a choice to live it any way you want to. And uh, you can live that life in complete clarity society where everyone involved is really committed to clarity. Everyone in your life is really committed to clarity. Or you can live some other way. It really doesn't matter. You can be a clarity pioneer either way. Um, regardless, society will change and this new way of looking at human beings will become commonplace. It isn't commonplace today, but it will become commonplace. Why will it become commonplace? Because it's necessary for the human species to survive. That's why it will become commonplace. And so, uh, the, uh, empowerment of, of clarity is one that is, uh, it's, it's really something that no one would, would ever want to miss in their life because it is a life of complete en enjoyment. We, we find that actually we have within us the ability to completely enjoy life no matter what is happening. That we're able to extract the power from negative points of view. What does that mean to extract the power from negative points of view? It means that we no longer are confined or bound by the limited dictionary definitions of what a point of view is. We see that clarity is in that negative point of view. It isn't somewhere else. Clarity is in all points of view, not somewhere else. Clarity is required for any point of view to take place. Clarity is not a separate state somewhere to go to, to get away from negative points of view. Clarity is the actual nature of the afflictive state. And so no matter what situation you're in with crying babies or people at work who have divergent views or whatever it is, uh, the power of clarity is there in you and in everyone else, and it's glowing strong. And so, you know, you can rely on that or not. It's entirely up to you. I would suggest relying on it. One of the things about clarity that is really great is that it is self-affirming, which means that by the power of relying on clarity, you have more and more clarity juice. And so, uh, that feels good. That really feels good. And so then you're naturally inclined to want to rely on clarity more because it does work. It, it does make you feel so much better. All of us just feel really great once we are introduced to clarity. We find something about ourselves that we can really count on, that we can really rely on, that can really take us through all of life.